after that. Oh, I just want to know this. All right, y'all, this next story, y'all, I mean, I know it's going to bring tears to a lot of folks' heart. I cried, honey, when I found the devastating news about it, and I'm sure you are going to cry, too. So, Dave, if you could um, do the, um, whatever you got to do. Oh, clear your throat, Gary. Like, Don't yeah, be sad. I know why I do this story. All right, y'all, honey, it's being reported that Eva Marcel Sterling has decided not to return to season 13 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh. Now she said, quote, I appreciate the bond of friendship that I have made with several of my castmates and strong personal relationships I have, I have with numerous executives and producers of the Bravo and Truly Entertainment companies. She said, quote, I am thankful the opportunity, thankful for the opportunity I was provided. However, after speaking with my family and representatives, I believe that what I hope to accomplish for the culture and community will be better served by focusing on other opportunities. She said, I look forward to serving community on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show and finding ways to be a voice during this transformational time in our country for people of color, unquote. Oh, that's so professional. That that's sounds like Michelle Obama yes, wrote it. Okay. <laughs> so, Eva, yes. elaborate. <laughs> well, you know what, Ricky? Um, I think everything has a reason and a season. And the time that I spent on Housewives, I enjoyed myself. I cried. I laughed. I obviously fought. Um, and we did a lot of things. But most importantly, I made some great friendships with some beautiful women. And I believe that my time is up. I have a six-year-old daughter and two young boys still in diapers. And they're 24 hours a day. And there is a lot of work to be done. And so I decided to spend my time and energy focusing on my kids and my community and not so much reality show business. So, so does, does shooting that show take a lot of your time? It does. It takes a lot of time. And if you can imagine, Ricky, when I first started the um, morning show, I was doing the morning show. I was filling in for Portia because she was pregnant and I was also pregnant and I was shooting Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it gave me so little time to be with my family, to bond with my new husband. And I just, I have such an opportunity here it, I don't have to over-exhaust myself. And so I'm going to um, take my opportunity to love on my family and to be here every morning from 6 to 10. I don't so need Eva, 50 jobs. I just need a couple good ones. So, Eva, did you listen to Wendy Williams? Because like I said, I watched you on Wendy the other day, and she said you do not need to be on that show. She said you know, that's not your type of show that you should be on. And uh, she was saying that you should definitely go do something else. So did you fo did yeah. you follow what she said or you just decided to just I got that on? advice from Wendy. Vivica Fox called me a couple of weeks ago. Janae Aiko hit me up. A lot of my friends that kind of knew me since the beginning of my career. I and been, though the, I've, uh, the I've been, I've, I've, been, I've, I've, been I've been had you in the headlock for since a minute. Since day one, Rick. Since day one, I had you in the headlock. Like, hey, look, listen here, look at him now. How yeah. you feeling? How you feeling? How you liking it? Definitely that? big brothered me. Yeah. Well, that's but good. you know what? That kind of support is what I need. You know, the reality is, is that the ability for upward mobility and that kind of money for African-Americans, it's hard to see. So a lot of times we find ourselves doing things that we are not necessarily happy doing all the time so that we can get the kind of money that we know we deserve in life. But my question to myself is what is more important right now? Is it right. the money or is it the movement and the culture and what I can impact. And the, to me, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. If I was to die today, I know I died doing something that I was supposed yeah. to do, not just collecting checks. Well, sometimes in order to receive something, you got to let something go. You can't receive with a closed fist. Yes, so, sir. So in all in all money and good money and everything has a, has a place in a season and stuff. And just imagine... Uh, you're making a lot of money, but you ain't happy because imagine the butterflies in your stomach. You got to go and confront four women and have yes. a fight. The butterflies and the anxiety that comes with that. And it's going to be yes. on TV. And it might not, the way they edit it might not, you know what I'm saying? And then you favorable. get dragged, dragged on the internet and mm -hmm. talked about and ridiculed or whatever. And it just you just relieved yourself of a lot of that. And now you can simply just enjoy your husband and your kids. Do the morning show and anything else you want to do and promote your CBD oil, your sheets, your church hats, and everything else. I you have a full betting with. line. <laughs> a full but betting what line. I do want to say, that though, Ricky, is because I think a lot of times we take opportunities or we leave opportunities and we leave sour. I want to be very clear. Even though we fought on the show, I love every single one of those black women. They are queens all in their own right. They are stars, and I wish them the most successful season and transformational season. Season 13 that the Real Housewives of Atlanta has ever seen. 
Well, Eva Lachey, Marcel, <laughs> Pig Feet, Sterling, <laughs> All right, Williams. John. We love the you. The color today, damn man. The producer talking about it. Y'all shut up. The producer. The- <laughs> 